welcome to this session from my side too. Uh, lumber trying. The purpose of lumber trying is to reduce the moisture content of the wood, which makes this material more, more stable and stiff for construction purposes. Um, if lumber is not dried properly, then it will cause a lot of problems. Uh, for example, you can, let's say, nearly explode the wood material. The, uh, the drying process uh, starts from the middle of the lumber and goes to the upper side of the lumber. Uh, that means that you need to have a lot of humidity during this, this process and, of course, the heat. Um, typically, the fresh wood, it's, uh, it's, uh, there's a f from 50 to 60 percent content of the water. And uh, the target is to try the lumber to level 10 to 20 uh, uh, percent. Uh, when, when you start to, to uh, try this, this uh, lumber, you increase humidity and you increase uh, temperature. And there are different, different ways to do it to increase the humidity. For example, you can use steam or low pressure water mist or high pressure water mist. Um, and and um, they all has different uh, features. And uh, maybe the steam is the uh, oldest way or a little bit old fashioned way nowadays. Low pressure water mist is also a very common way to do it. And this high pressure water mist is the, maybe the latest, latest uh, invention in this area. Um, yeah, we can go to the next page, please. Here we can see some example of uh, trying kilns or tunnel, tunnel triers. They are different sizes and, and different purposes. Uh, and and uh, I think that nearly every industrial country has these kind of uh, triers in their own country where you have wood. And um, uh, it's even we can't see normal people can never see these, but this this process makes us um, possibility to to use wood because normally if you are trying the wood outside it takes more than one year and the result is not so good as as we are using this industrial way is to try wood. Next slide, please. Here we have some examples of, of our principles of trying kilns. Uh, in, in the left hand, uh, in, the, in the down picture, you can see the water mist lying in, the, in this lumber uh, stacks flying there. Uh, the water mist is moving uh, around the, the lumber uh, by, by fans. The air is moving this, this moisture. And, and this uh, right hand picture, it's a demonstrated picture. We have just sprayed uh, this, this water mist into the chamber. There's no fans uh, on, on, on duty at the moment. There you can see that the water mist is very tiny and it's, it's flying up. It's, it's like a, a fog there. So uh, this, is, this is how it looks in, in, in real life. Uh, next slide, please. This is one of my favorite uh, examples I, I tell to the customers. Um, if you are taking one liter of water and you are, you are spraying it out with low pressure, it means that five to six bar, you can cover with the droplets uh, roughly 30 square meter. It means that the size of the droplets are about 30 square meter. Many say that it's, it's a fine, a nice uh, water mist, uh, but uh, we have noticed that the droplets, they are rather heavy, they are rather 
big and they are raining down too fast. If you are spraying it out with high pressure, it means 60 bar or higher. No, normally we are using 80 to 100 bar. Then the droplet area of the same amount of water is roughly six to seven times larger. It means that with one liter of water, you can reach over 150 to 180 square meter. Same amount of the water, just compare 30 square meter or 180 square meter. So it means that uh, all this water takes part into the process because you have a large area of the uh, droplet surface and, and also the reaction time is, is very fast because of, of the area. So next slide, please. Here you can see some uh, example curves of the drying process. In, in this left side uh, picture, we have a, a high pressure and uh, right hand low pressure. Uh, this red mark in, in the start of the process, uh, we can see that uh, in, in uh, left hand high pressure application, it's very short. If we compare to the low pressure, it, which is much longer. It means that when you are heating up this, this or starting the process, the, uh, in, in high pressure system, the moisturization is very effective because you, all, all this water can reach the surface of the lumber very fast. And no water is waste to the floor. Then we are going to stabilization. This means that you are removing the tensions of the, of the lumber. Again, you can see in this left hand picture that it's much shorter this stabilization, this blue area, if we compare that to low pressure, which is longer. I also want, would like to point out that the whole process, if you uh, check the scale of the hours, which is this down axle, the whole process is much faster compared uh, to low pressure. It means that the cycles of the triangles if you compare the yearly basis, it's, you can try much more uh, with, the, with the same same chamber because the cycle is shorter. Okay, next slide, please. Then some comparison of, of these different systems. Um, CapEx means investments for, for steam, for example, nowadays steam is even if the equipment and maintenance is, is um, expensive, also the energy of uh, price of the energy is high nowadays. So it's, it's rather expensive uh, system to use. Low pressure system, of course, it's a rather uh, relative cheap to build up, but uh, the, the, the results are not so good. And if we compare the, the high pressure system, we still say that it's relatively low price system. Control of water amount in, in steam, it's not, it's not so easy to control because you are not controlling the amount of the water, you are controlling um, the steam level. Uh, low pressure systems, it's uh, difficult to control because you have to sp spray a lot of water to reach some uh, uh, results. Uh, if we compare for high pressure system, you always know how much water you are spraying out. So basically you can even calculate beforehand how much you need to spray. Uh, ramp rate, it's, it's very fast with, uh, with uh, high pressure and also with steam, low pressure system, it's, it's a due to big droplets, it's, it's slow. Uh, the stabilization time, so it means that you are removing the tensions. It's, it's very fast with the high pressure uh, systems, 
or if you compare low pressure or steam because you just add a needed amount of water and the process is fast. You can see the results immediately. So all these reasons uh, we have seen that uh, they are very beneficial to, to, to end users.